Hey YouTube and welcome to a bit of an unusual recording because this is actually a show match tournament game that was played but we're back here looking at the replays with you guys on YouTube and the reason why is because I was off streaming a different game at this time in the 2-0 round of the Swiss I was watching Joya's Moxie but what was going on in the 1-1 matchup was Dark versus Khaled and I had a feeling that you guys on YouTube would want to see the Dark versus Khaled. I know I want to see Dark versus Khaled in a show match setting. So I've decided to look at the replays of that match and just do a bit of an analysis. Now, the players, or sorry, I should say the people who did the live analysis at the time was Karma and Maywis. So that's a great play. Reset 50 on the goal line. Reset wave dash 50. But Karma, the ex-pro player, who streams now to the analysis and was following Dark and then Nawis, the Falcons team stream uh, streamer who ended up doing Khaled's run on his channel. So they covered this one live, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it for you guys on the YouTube via the replays and let's see what happens between one of the up and coming 1v1 players. What a respawn for Khaled. An amazing respawn and quick thinking from Khaled in order to keep a clean slate so far. But Dark, the 14-year-old 1v1-er who is hot on the scene right now for his incredible mechanical ability. And Khaled, the longtime 1v1 player who, you know, while he hasn't surpassed Fairy Peak in the argument for GOAT, he's certainly up there in the players that you would consider having a chance at earning that title. And a lot of that has to do with his brains and his smarts in 1v1. So this might be a great example of a mechanics versus brains type 1v1. Of course, Dark representing the peak of mechanics right now. Arsenal, when asked, said he's the most mechanical player in the game. It's tough when you haven't got to see him in twos and threes much. You know, you see some of those other players. I think what he's trying to say is he has, you know, some mechanics and has an array of mechanics, I think, more than anybody else does. But a lot of very simple things like always executing your shots and placing the ball where you want to. Those kind of things are mechanics as well, and I wouldn't say that Dark is the best at those. Although, the double and triple flip resets, I'm not sure he has an equal. Here, he probably greeted out a bit too much trying to go for a third reset, but he's actually in and out of his net making this save. Might need to adjust his offense a bit better for what Khaled is doing on defense. This air dribble bump is gonna be a goal. So it'll be a 3-0 lead for Khaled. Unfazed at the triple flip reset setup that Dark tried to throw at him. And now Dark is going to fake the kickoff in order to gain control. Starting as far away from the net as possible. He's going to go for an early pogo into an air dribble. And Khaled able to stop that. But it is so hard to start dribbles just underneath the ceiling. It's a great save to send it wide, but it's tough to start them there, even when you're closer to the net, but to start them in the back left corner as far away from the play as possible is madness from Dark, and that's what's so fun to watch. The fact that he is taking madness and making it not so ridiculous. Great recovery here as he's getting bumped by Khaled to have a chance, but Khaled will backflip and finish it off. Dark could have been long out of the play if he wasn't so quick to power slide and accept his reverse trajectory that was forced upon him. He has done a good job here, faking kickoffs and getting the ball. Going for a double reset this time. Wave dash catch behind Khaled. No, not behind Khaled. Khaled has the save, has the read. I think these guys have matched up. Oh, just a poor challenge by Dark there. Quick play gets another goal for Khaled. I, I think we've seen these guys play a little bit in ranked before. I want to say we even covered it in a video, but I think those went fairly equal. I don't remember them going heavily one way or the other. Certainly not like this with Khaled up 6-0. He is welcoming Dark to the show match world, to the tournament world, because I did confirm with Dark that the Fall 5K was the first 1v1 tournament that he had played. He, you know, just played ranked and show matches up until that point. And this is a different beast. Just like show matches are a different beast when you first do them instead of just ranked. My goodness, Khaled. He is no foreigner to all types of 1v1 games. But, you know, just like show matches are a step up from ranked, I think tournament play is a step up again. In fact, Dark had struggles even getting to this point. 
He played in the qualifier with a pretty high seed and ended up not qualifying, but he was close. He lost in the final game, the final best of five to Juicy. But fortunately for him, Razier, somebody who was invited, and Ashley, somebody who had qualified, both couldn't play and ended up dropping out. So they got replaced by the two players who were willing, which was Dark and Lorley. And apparently, Dark might have just been better off if he was not accepted into the tournament because, man, Khaled is styling on him right now. But to get to this point where they're at, they have both gotten one win and one loss, and both of those losses are to Moxie as Dark goes for another one of his pogos. This pogo at least starts inside the half-field line. He gets an additional reset, and he finishes it off for his first goal. You know, nobody scores on Dark nine times in a row. Let that be a lesson to Khaled. He doesn't really have enough time to turn this one around, but it could be good for momentum going into the next game as Khaled welcomes him to the tournament scene. Moxie is a tough opponent. You know, maybe one of the toughest opponents you can have as of right now, so no shame to either one of these two at this point for dropping series to Moxie. But one of them is going to have to be put on their last life. Down 1-2 the loser of this series. The winner gets to move on to two and one and gets two chances to qualify. Dark, one last opportunity to put on a clip. Khaled challenges early and Dark actually does get a bounce with his ceiling pinch and a third goal. So three straight goals, is that right? I think it might've been eight zero. Might it be three one. But either way, the point is Dark turning it up here at least a little bit late. And it looks like this game ended eight three. So we got one or two more, it is a best of three here. So let's go to game number two. Game number two in the storyline is going to be, can Dark continue what he did in the last 30 seconds, 45 seconds maybe, of that previous game into a game win, or will Khaled once again surge out to a massive insurmountable lead? Dark has a nice save to start out this game, but he's going to be doing more than playing defense. He's got one of his classic wall to air dribbles, and it's going to take three resets, but he's going to make it there. Oh my goodness, so many dark. Absolutely insane. I mean, it just it almost feels like the first couple aren't necessary. Maybe with a better first touch, you don't have to take so many resets on the process to getting to the net. But dark does exactly that, and Khaled... Almost getting caught out again. Going to pass it off his own back wall. An attempt to counter, but Dark makes it there just barely in time. It's a very smart save by Khaled, who's now got an air dribble to the top right. The double does a perfect job of keeping it away from Dark throughout the entirety of the flights and capitalizing on a low boost defender who couldn't get up to meet him. That's a really interesting first shot for Cal, just slamming the ball off kickoff directly at net and it's going to work out. He just continues to barrage Dark. This one crossbar down though and not in. Unfortunately for him, he's going to give space to Dark for his wall to air dribble which is dangerous. Dark sees Cal faking high and then getting back down on the wall. That's actually a great defensive sequence there for Cal in an attempt to slow Dark down. Dark this dribble reset. Oh my goodness, Khaled. Another insane save. Previously, everything he did before the save was always so impressive. This time, just barely was able to keep that one out using the post and the crossbar. And now it's going back the other way. Not the best of first touches in the air. And oh, oh goodness, Dark. You can't be doing that. <laughs> you just absolutely cannot be doing that. Drops the ball. Right down in front of the net for Khaled and gives Khaled a second goal. You know, those are the kind of things that you're just not going to see players pushing for the best and the best of ones. You know, they're not going to be doing that. Oh, this is a great double reset. Oh my goodness, the pogo. I mean, <laughs> you will be seeing the best players do that eventually. I think the best players in the world, whether it'll be Dark or somebody else who will start to take some of his tactics, I think you'll see the best players doing stuff as crazy as that. But what you won't see them doing is dropping the ball for free on a goal line. You just can't get away with that. Over a long series, short series, no matter what it is. Right now, an air dribble 
into a reset cache and Khaled always proven to be a brick wall is a brick wall once again he's going to use a bit of boost he does have to just toss a flick at Dark's net and now it's sent him all the way back into the corner of a weak take the first time around but he got all the boost on the map so he's ready for it for the second try this time Dark with not a lot to defend with and he tries to go underneath the air dribble bump and that's not going to happen so 3-2 Khaled back in the lead trying to control this series and end it early chasing Dark down off the kickoff he's going to have to play off of a couple pads and he's already out of boost so his flick on net is really nothing to be scared of Dark gets caught out Khaled has a great counter passes to himself he sees his opportunity you know it's not often in ones that you can get as easy of a shot to handle as that one so it's not even I wouldn't even call it a save he wasn't saving it it was all about the setup and the setup was perfect this setup was not perfect the chip goes wide of the net and then the reset he could tell wasn't really going to be enough to make anything out of it certainly not worth the risk of using the flip he does escape dark here reset near the ceiling can't get the second that probably is the reason why he can't score the pinch much easier for dark to deal with and now Khaled in the air dark fake challenging that high before coming down to the ground pre-flipping to steal boost and dying in the process Khaled will drop it in for a fifth so a minute 20 left to go Khaled showing Darks who's boss once again. This time to the tune of a three goal lead as opposed to an eight goal lead. So Dark certainly still in this game. And he wants to get to his spots. Wall to air dribble. Khaled once again, the fake challenge high onto the back wall. But this time, not nearly as perfect as the previous. You see him getting a little bit caught up there. Dark goes for the air dribble bump and is able to score off of it even though you know, normally that much separation on a bump like that is hard to land. It all comes down to Khaled having gone so all in on his defensive attempt, or defensive fake, I should say, which worked really well the previous time he did it. I should commend him for that. There's a reason why he went back to it. Air dribble bump for Dark. No, Khaled keeps it out. Only 50% of the way into the net. Nice delayed backflip from Dark. Will it get him a chance to score here? Doesn't go for the reset. Actually, looks like he was trying to just 50 with Khaled, but didn't work out there either. So he's back to his wall to air dribble. Khaled early challenge, and Khaled, as impressive as that one set was, he's been trying to mix it up. This time he challenges for real early, and Dark is able to see that coming. Use his reset and hit himself within one, but 25 seconds left to go, and no boost for Dark. Khaled going to make it 6-4. Going to extend it in a crucial moment when Dark needed to be scoring. Again, he iced it out. Wave dash kickoff for Khaled, but Dark boxes him out. Makes him take an extra second on his way to the boost and turns and challenges. I mean, no surprise here. Khaled probably expected that challenge considering how little time is left. And the shot is interesting, but effective as it bounces into the top left corner. So Dark needs another kickoff in his favor. He's going to elect to go fake kickoff now he's falling from the ceiling once again this time his reset is caught and then 50 he needs to keep the ball up and he does Khaled has to watch it go in as his 50 was not what he wanted my goodness Dark bringing us to overtime in unlikely fashion but he needs another goal if he wants to move higher in the Swiss Instead of dropping low, he's got Khaled to back off. So he's got Hualta arrow dribble, and that's got to feel like a good position for him. This time, hard off the ceiling, the reset, and it never really was on target. So Khaled able to handle it with ease. And now with 80 boost, he's trying to be extra patient here so that he can use that for his attack. And now his flick to the top left corner is stopped by Dark, who at first did a good job. Not panicking too much, but then flipped right past the ball. Dark front flip. Sees Khaled coming out. Oh my goodness, what a save from Khaled. And he actually stays in front of this ball. Dark was not expecting it to just die on the goal line there. It's actually a really good flick by him to catch Khaled creeping out. Khaled sends one to the back wall. Dark does a good job clearing it. But Khaled has the ball once again. 
Oh, this 50 is not great for him. Dark is forced back to the corner, though, for his 100. So now Khaled on his dribble just didn't expect Dark to just steal it from him. And now Khaled. Oh, no. He passed it to Dark. Wow. The aggressive gameplay from Dark gets him a game win a minute and 16 seconds into overtime. So it will be a game three in this best of three between Dark and Khaled. Game three between these two incredible Saudi Arabian 1v1 winners. One of them having dominated the tournament scene for a long time. The idol for many 1v1ers, not just the Saudi Arabian players. Everybody wanted to mimic Khaled. And now everybody looking to Dark, the youngster, who hasn't quite been able to put it all together for big show matches and big tournaments, but still has people trying to play like him. Even has pros copying these playmaking abilities that he has made so popular. You'll see tons of different pogos from players as time goes on before it eventually becomes just another tool in the arsenal of most 1v1ers. Cal's going to get his first goal after Dark puts up two quick ones. All of this happening within 30 seconds. Ton of scoring to start this match deciding game number three. Dark cutting Khaled a bit, but not really stopping him, costing him all his boost. So Khaled is going to rush the ball to net. And this is a great setup from Khaled. Notice his dark fought him to get there to the midfield, used his boost to do so. So he doesn't have any. So what Khaled needs to do is he needs to get his dribble up quick and he needs to get it into a position that dark cannot use the back wall to help make the save. And so by taking it to the far post, dark has to decide to leave early from that near post and be so tough to make that defensive play and all that goes in credit to Khaled for the perfect setup now Dark cannot handle yet another one so despite two straight it'll be three straight for Khaled and we're still only a minute and nine seconds in what can Dark do to come back you know he's going to do it at full speed and you know it's going to be spectacular if he does Dark, oh my goodness, he just handed the ball away. Thought he could steal the boost. And then thought, at the very least, he'd be able to demo Khaled as he got back. But he couldn't do either. Khaled escapes the chasing down Dark and is able to long shot to get four straight now. Four straight for Khaled after Dark scored early. And what a great early challenge from Khaled. The defensive display right now has been so impressive from him. Noticing Dark's going high and then even reading the extra pop from Dark because Dark saw the early challenge, which Khaled knew he would, tried to go over the top of him, but Khaled was prepped for that. And oh my goodness, he just punished Dark. Never left the orange half. Was just waiting for Dark to make a mistake that gave him an opportunity and got it with very little boost. Khaled is the king of... That on-ball pressure defense. Showing why here, and it's actually a big mistake from Dark, but Khaled's touch is too strong. That he can't really punish to get a six. Instead, he's just going to try and steal multiple boosts and pop this up high into the corner. And he rushes back, knowing that he's going to be able to beat Dark. Can he keep this on the goal line, though? He's feeling less confident now as he's out of boost, but he does prevent Dark from taking the midfield and so it'll be once again Khaled with a full tank Dark back to the corner this time soft mutts busty Dark is able to keep it out 32 boost for Dark using a bit of it to get a demo and so will he get his wall to air dribble that he loves so much Khaled thinking about challenging it early maybe got Dark to accelerate it quicker than he would have liked to but it is no sweat off Dark's back, he finds his way to score. Does so by accelerating the ball to that far post as Khaled comes to challenge. Khaled, can he get his goal right back off a kickoff? Cannot. Dark, able to get underneath it enough to prevent him from really trying to shoot it. And now can Dark find a way using the ceiling to come out of this corner? The pinch is actually on target, but Khaled saves it. 
I was going back the other way. The setup right near the ceiling gets the reset. And as Dark comes to challenge, uses his flip. So just an impressive display of the kind of air dribble resets we're used to seeing in 1v1. Dark has brought a whole new category, but Khaled showing that you don't need to be terribly fancy to get it done. That's actually a great play from Dark to get the ball to that top corner so quickly, but not going to be enough to stop Khaled from getting the save. Now another full field dribble. Dark actually immediately tosses the ball, and that's because of the way Khaled has been playing defense. Khaled has been early challenging and pre-jumping Dark left and right. This time, I think Khaled like faked his pre-jump. He turned towards Dark, made it look like he was about to try and pre-jump his air dribble. So Dark got around the ball and shot it forward, trying to punish Khaled for diving in. And that's exactly what Khaled wanted. He was just trying to make Dark think that was going to happen and ended up getting the ball for free. So Khaled has done so much right on defense in this series. And it's stuff that you maybe don't notice if you're only looking for saves. But the way his movement has been off ball whenever Dark has been setting things up has played him like a puppet and he's got himself a three goal lead. Dark is going to need something magnificent if he wants to bring it back. And he found something magnificent in game number two. This would be the beginning of said craziness as he goes off the ceiling but lost control of it. This demo gives him time. He's going to instantly power shot Cal to spawn the pre-flip and it's tough to blame Dark. He had to get the ball there as soon as possible. And maybe if Cal didn't get that spawn, he actually would have scored it. But Cal did get the spawn. And you know what he did? He did just about everything right on defense here against Dark. Even he couldn't he couldn't score it himself. Tried to double it at the end and still didn't score it. So Dark and Cal was quite the matchup in the Swiss in the EU Fall 5K. So I had a feeling that it'd be worth watching. I think it was. I'm glad I went back and looked at the replays with you guys.